Well, this episode, I'm so excited. Chris Hogan is here. Thanks for being back. I'm glad to be back with you. It's just like happy, isn't it? It is. Like it is happy. When you come here, you're like, I'm just so just, glad. I'm at ease. <sighs> I'm very be. much at ease. You should be. Hogan. But you put me to work. <laughs> I do. I was like, you need to come on my show because we got to talk about That's something. That's right. And you made me take a test. Uh, I know. Okay, so my new money quiz is out. And <laughs> it's fascinating because it really shows you your money tendencies. Yes. It asks interesting questions. Kind of figure out, okay, who are you? So I'm going to go through your results. Uh-oh. I feel like a teacher grading, you know, I'm just like— Here we go, here we go. Okay, so the first category was spender versus saver. Yes. And you are, da-da-da-da, a moderate uh, spender. Yes. You too? Yes, yes. Yes. I may have been extreme when oh. I took it, and I, but moderate to extreme spender But here's sure. the deal. It's good to be able to enjoy money. Yes. It's good to right. be able to enjoy some things. Yes. However, on the other side of it, you've got to save. Yep. Right? You yes. can enjoy, but you need to make sure that you're investing. If you're out of debt and you've got your fully funded emergency fund and you are putting money ahead for the future. That's right. So yeah. the, the the saving and spending, again, you're naturally bent to be one or the other. Yep. And I have said the extremes on any of these, not healthy. That's right. You That's don't want right. to be an extreme sender or an extreme saver because extreme savers just hoard their money. And they don't enjoy. They don't enjoy. So you got to right. be balanced. Yes. Right. So find the balance. Yes. Moderate spender. Moderate spender. That's awesome. Okay. Next one is abundance versus scarcity. Mm -hmm. And you are a moderate abundance mindset. Yes. I believe that there's money out there to be made for everyone. And yeah. there's enough for everyone. And so if people are willing to work and get out and take the risk and do what's necessary, they can make money. That's right. Yes. That's an abundance mindset right there, people. I lean that way as well. More glasses half full than yes. half empty, that kind of thing. And again, on extremes of scarcity and abundance, not good, right? If you're too abundant and right. you just think everything's gonna be fine and I'll just figure it out and it's all gonna be great. And it's like, okay, no, there needs to be a little reality. Mm -hmm. And then scarcity, too extreme scarcity. Oh God. You hoard. Yeah. Like you won't do anything. Yes. And so here's the good thing too about the abundance mentality. You're willing to give, right? You're mm -hmm. a natural giver. You love to be able to support causes that you believe in. Yes. And that's a good thing. For sure. Yes. And there's some scarcity people in my life Winston, my husband. Oh, is he scarcity? Leans more scarcity, Ooh. yep. So more of a natural saver usually. Mm -hmm. uh, they kind of, they they are more logical in their purchases. They mm -hmm. think through. It has to be like, okay. It's got to make sense. It's got to make sense. Yes. Where I'm just like, Amazon app. <laughs> sure. That's great. That's great. What a great deal. Uh, my mom, scarcity. Yes. She's a little bit more. Yeah, Sharon is slow to move with the money. Sharon, man, we have some good stories. She's Sharon. hilarious. She, my mom still has a library card. Will does not like buying books. And coupons. Coupons. She Loves. still will use she the coupons. And, yeah, buys stuff on sale, all of it. Yeah, but that comes from something, right? It does. Like in your life, I think that you kind of, you probably naturally with your personality gravitate towards mm -hmm. one or the other. Mm -hmm. But also the events in your life could yeah. cause you to, to be one way or the other yeah. for sure. And it's good to understand it and really dig into it. And if you're married, talk to your spouse about it yes. or your significant other so you can start to understand each other. Right? And that allows you to get on the same page. That's right. Think yeah. about the people in your life and what they are because it really informs why they do the things with money. That they yes. Do. It's fascinating. So your abundance, mm -hmm. more minded. Okay, give me an example in your life. Well, in, in looking at it, it's one of those things where I know that money is available to be yeah. made, right? If yeah. you work hard, you can get out and hustle and do some things. Uh, but I also know that with that, you have to be careful that you're not impulsive. Sure. Because you think that there's always more that can be made. So it's good to have wisdom and talk to somebody before you make a big purchase. Yep. Like before you buy a vehicle or before you buy a home, you want to make sure you're getting some wisdom and guidance because you can be so optimistic that everything looks great. That's right. Yeah. I know for us, we were recently talking about Christmas decorations. Mm. Such a small thing, I know. But we need a new Christmas tree. And then I was like, okay, do we need some more ornaments? Ooh, fake or real tree? We're going fake. We did real two years in a row. Okay. How do you feel about real Christmas trees? Well, I mean. Do you like them? Or are you fake? I, I, I like, I go fake. You go fake? Okay, I do. okay, Because okay. the real ones, I mean, if you don't keep them watered, it can be a situation. Yes. Well, yes. And real Christmas tree people are passionate about the real Christmas trees. So right. I just thought, are you a real Christmas tree here? Right. Because I like I'm about both. to get your opinion. I, I don't want to. I want an equal opportunity. So <laughs> that's right. That's there. right. But yeah, so we're like looking. I'm like, oh, and I would love like some nice garland like on right. the railing upstairs with Christmas lights, and let's add some garland on the mantle oh. in the living room, like. Are we gonna do the? Are we gonna do Christmas lights outside? We never really do Christmas Poor lights outside. Winston. We should do Christmas lights outside. Our Christmas conversation. He was like, "Babe, there that is me so much Christmas," and I'm like, 
I know, but it's all going to be fine. Like, it's all going to be fine. We can figure it out. Are you going to put up this stuff, or is Poor Winston doing it all? That's the question. That is the question. question. What's the answer? I usually help, Mm. but usually we tag team, and it's like, I take care of kids, you do a chore, or I do a chore, you take care of kids. Okay, it's It's a (laughs) trade-off. It's a trade-off. It's a trade-off. But I'll say, I'm like, Christmas, uh, yeah, we'll get more here, more here. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Yeah, it's all abundance, (laughs) but it's all good. And he's taking through every— Garlands he has to measure and how much per yard it's something is. It's a lot is. of work for it's, Winston. It's a lot of work. Pray for Winston, people. Pray for Winston. <laughs> okay, next category. Status versus safety. And yeah. what I mean by this, so some people are confused. What is your motivation to win with money? Hmm. For some people, it is strictly just to feel safe. That I feel good. Everything's in order. I'm good. I don't need everything, but like I just want to feel good. Like yeah. that's your primary motivation. Other people's motivation is, no, I want with money so I can do fun things and buy fun stuff and that kind of thing. So, yeah. ne- so status seems negative in this. I don't mean it to be negative. So it's either either or, kind okay. of your reasons, your motivation for winning with money. So yours Where did I rank? is a strong safety-focused mindset. Yes. So you're the safety. Right. So I want to make sure that there's money there in the emergency fund yep. to take care of things that are going to come up. Yeah. Um, and you're right. That stuff does come from it because long before I was a part of the team, you know, you, you'd find yourself running out of money before the end of the month. Mm-hmm. And that's stress that it brings. That's right. right? Absolutely. That frustration and irritation. So, Absolutely. yes, it is important to have that there. And I think throughout all of this COVID stuff that we've been dealing with, yep. people have learned that having that emergency fund is absolutely essential. Yep, absolutely. Yes. Yep. Okay, so I actually lean more status. Surprise. I know. Surprise. No, because my, I'm like, no, I want to I want budget so that we can do stuff. Yes. Like, I want to budget so we can go on a great— Like, I I will do the things. I will sacrifice. I will put money in the retirement fund. Right. I will I'll make sure our emergency fund isn't touched. I will do things— But— so that I can do other things. But what's one of your key statements? <laughs> a budget gives you permission to spend. Yes. That is a very status type sentence. Yeah, it is, <laughs> but but it does give you permission. It does. And what yeah. that does is allow you to be able to enjoy, That's right. but to also be able to give. That's right. So it's good to understand this, yes. right? And look at it. And the quiz was actually very insightful. Thank you. And okay. it was it was dead on. Uh, and looking at it, but it is good to know yourself. But more importantly, like we talked about, you want to know your spouse or your significant other so you can come up with that game plan for what you want to do. Yes, and you can, again, have that empathy. And I think, too, both extremes, remember we talked about this, yes. are negative. So right. the extreme on status is kind of obvious, right? You just right. you just, you just get into this mindset of, oh, I'm just going to buy, buy, buy. Everything's going to feel better if I just buy, buy, buy. Right. If I have this or that or that, everything's great. And no, that's not the case. Right. Stuff does not equal happiness. Because they're always going to come out with new stuff. Oh, Cars yes. that can park themselves, start yeah. themselves. Have you seen the ones that will back up for you a if you're Tesla, in a tight spot? A really? Tesla? Really, people? Yeah, get in the car. It's my dream car. Really? A Tesla? Does oh. Winston know? Oh, yeah. And he's kind of like geeky in Are that Are you kind wearing of him down? Are you wearing him down? <sighs> Sorry, but we just got the new minivan. I mean, it's just too much. We can't We can't. You do went that. minivan. You don't know this? No. Chris Hogan. Well, you do have an abundance of children. It's so, it has so. changed my life. It's pretty unbelievable. I digress. Yes. Um, okay, what were we talking about? We're talking about, oh, status. <laughs> yes, and buying stuff. See, I love to buy stuff. I love yeah. minivans. Yes. I like a good Tesla. But here's hopefully. the thing. If you've got a plan for your money. Thank you. I know, yes. If you have a plan. But we're plan, talking extremes here. Yeah. If you're, you're extreme status, then gets that's unhealthy. not healthy. That's right. But if you're an extreme saver, then you won't ever Look, enjoy. Extreme safety, people. Safety. Not you're good not, either. No, it's not. Because then what you're going to do is you're going to feel this, this tension inside of you, right? And at some point, you're, when you go big, you're going to go real big. Yes. And you could really set yourself back financially. Yep, for sure. Right. Well, and I find that a lot of people will have an ultimate security and money in the safety realm that money will never offer. Yeah. It's like you almost get to this point that, like, you can never have enough money to feel safe if that's the only place your right. safety and security are in. Like, no, it, it's not the end-all be-all. It right. really isn't. We need to be wise and be smart, all of it. Yes. Um, but again, those extremes, not healthy. Okay, so you're more safety. Mm. Okay, so I told you about my status, my yes. minivan, and my Tesla, all the yes. dreams I have of what I can do because I'm right. budgeting. Um, but for real, what for safety for you? Like, what, where do you feel that come well, on? Well, you can imagine, Rachel, I'm a little um, excited and <laughs> exuberant about retirement. 
Yes. Right. And so I, I can, I tend to uh, go that route and looking at the 401k and looking at investments. Yeah. And if I tweak this, then I could do that. And so I can catch myself in that mode. And then I'm not doing things that I enjoy because my mindset. So it's really good to have people you talk to to get you to kind of come out of that. That's so good. I try to plan for the experiences and set aside things to do uh, each quarter. Uh, which allow me to be able to make sure I'm saving for the future, of course. But at the same time, I want to be in the moment, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't have to live for the day, but I can be in the day. That's so good. Yeah. So great. Okay. Yeah. So you have three tips for us. Yes. As we, as we end this of knowing who you are, that yeah. really do help. Yeah. So first is I want you to grow your knowledge. Mm -hmm. And that means read books, get connected to this financial stuff, really start to learn all the terms and what it means, and gain comfort in that. Uh, the second one is, is believe you can get better. That's and good. all you have to do is start right where you are. So grow your knowledge, believe that you can, and then finally, I want you to dream in high definition. I do want you to have goals for the future that you're striving for because that's your why. That's what will get you out of bed and will keep you focused. I love it. Three things you can do. You can do those now. Do it today? Yes. It's amazing. All right, where can everyone find you? Uh, ChrisHogan360.com. That's ChrisHogan360.com. Love it. Chris, thanks for being here. Thank you Always for fun. Me, Make sure to check out all the stuff he's doing with retirement, Everyday Millionaires, all of it. Books, podcasts, it's so great. So thanks for being here. Thank you. And for all you guys, make sure to check out the money quiz. You can do that at rachelcruz.com and figure out who you are, safety status, spender, saver. It's just a matter of minutes. It really is mindset. quick and easy. It's fascinating. But it's insightful. And then send it on to like your best friend Share or your it. spouse yes. and see what they are. So good. We're knowing ourselves, people. Know ourselves, know our money. Thanks again, Hogan. Thank you, Rachel.